everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's Brits Rams going up against Marshall's Jets. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 8 matchup. Jets, Rams coming up on EA Sports as we welcome you to St. Louis, Missouri. The Jets are back deep waiting for the kick. Greg Zerline getting his team set as we're about to get underway here. This game has officially begun. And Curley's going to run this one out. Got a flag. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Face mask. First down at the 42. Secures it with two hands. And airs. Completion. Now first and ten. Gets the handle here. Start crowding the line of scrimmage more. The Jets have it at the 44. Throws the pass. Two hands on the football and has the catch. First down and ten. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. The Jets get a first down. First down at the 19. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They'll go ground. And Daniels is there to play action fake. Probably get somebody wide open or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Loss of three on the play. Third and goal from the four. Zach Stacy with the grab. Ogle Tree makes the play. Kick the football and get three points on the board. The kick is good. first quarter. Makes you feel really good about what you did during the week here. Anytime you can get points on the board early in a football game, it makes you think all that practice was worth it. And he runs it out to a Bulls is heading out now. He'll, of course, be leading this offense today on the year. Has completed over 60%. First down at the 27. When Couples takes the quarterback. And we saw it that time on display. Foles takes it from the gun. Kenny Brick with the reception. Third down and six. Foles now on the move. Foles going to give himself up here. Oh, look here on defense. First down at the 44. Tavon Austin the target and they advance the ball the crossers because they are afraid so a defender is going to come out of nowhere and hit it that's the quarterback's gun the play clock's running down Foles is going to take it from the gun he's drilled as he throws second down and ten Curley's got it on the handoff he is tailed the Rams will take the snap from the 40. It's Mason with the catch. He's tackled beyond the markers. First and ten. And Rebus in on the tackles. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. The Rams now move the chain. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Going to lose yards here. Changing the play with the wide receiver. Second and goal from the 10-yard line. It's complete to Todd Gurley. Got a flag. Illegal block in the back. Offense. Like that. Second down and 12. The catch is made by Tavon Austin. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The ball is jarred loose. Coach, take the points. You didn't get it done on third and goal. Get three points and keep momentum. And that field goal ties this game up. Well, that's the good. The good news is you tied the game up. The bad news is some bad play calls prevented you from scoring the touchdown and take the lead. 
Gets out past the 20. What made them kick that field goal, so the defense is feeling good about the fact that they stopped that momentum by the offense and made them kick that field goal. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Second down and a long way to go. Pass is intercepted. Defense gets them the ball back. Well, it's about time somebody in this game just takes control of the situation. And what better opportunity than right now, after that interception, go out there and make a play and take the lead. The jury, yeah. if you get off the field just giving up a field goal, that's a win in the NFL. Going for the home run. And a flag comes out. That's interference. Defense. Fours three to three. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. Touchdown, St. Louis. They had knowledge and they put it to good use and they found a way to get down there and score a touchdown. That was a nice job by the offense. The point Jets out. are ready to return the kick. Smartly. And now let's see if the offense can get that back. Though. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation. First down at the 34. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. He's at it. The Jets have it at the 34. On the money. Picks up about two. Defense. You tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. And Alec Ogletree. You keep your offense balanced, so you need to be able to run it so you can use play action to get the big plays down the field. That's a gain of six. The Jets will take the snap from the 40. And it's complete to Marshall. The Jets take it from the 38. Stacy makes the catch. McDonald's all over that hole. The Jets will take the snap from the 40. Got hit on release. Well, the eight is the first down line. Third and 12 to go. Heaving it down the field. He caught it. That's another risk. And just marching down the field. And a flag comes. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Jets come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Takes the hit. Throws. Ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front. I think they're trying to confuse the offensive line. They'll run it with him again. is down. No doubt. Offside. Defense. We're ready to return the kick. Catches it at the two and starts his return. And he spins away with that defense on these last few possessions. Well, let me say this, Jim. It's not that easy to score points in the NFL. Not the way they're making it look. And they're confident. They're bold. Takes a look now from under center. The Rams from the 27. Harris is there to make the tackle. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Third and short. Curley's met after a gain of... Now first and ten. Mason's gonna get it out of the eye. Second down and nine. Britt with the catch. And now will be on the other side of the 50. Foles is completion percentage 70% on the day. Time regroup and come out here and keep using the momentum you got from that interception. Collins is brought down, draws to a close. Second and nine. They'll go ground. Wide to the left. And he's tackled, but not until in shotgun formation. From the gun. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. 
and they are always oh, trying to save the timeout or timeouts when you can and one way to do it is go to the hurry up offense good job and now he'll slide the best way to get more plays in before the end of the first half go to the hurry up offense nice job by the coach intercepted Make it a great first half on the offensive side by taking advantage of that interception and going down and scoring. And it's the tight end, Jared Cook, on the receiving end. Kind of a good receiver. Second and six. Incomplete. Kenny Britt was the all out to make the catch. Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Looking across the middle, locked in on the football and has hold of it. With First down here after the completion. Back to the air here on first down. And it's just thrown away. Now he's going to change the play. Look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Throws the pass. And incomplete. What a hit. The that. nickel. Third and ten. The Rams get a first down. That's his first reception. This play set up by the long gainer. Looking to go up top again on first down. Gurley, touchdown. Rams. Touchdown. They have a little extra breathing room before the break. Oh, man, they're inhaling big time, and they love the way they feel. Patient. You saw what they're doing on the other side, so make some adjustments and find a way to get back in and, and get a way to win this game. And Curly going, you want to find a way to get some momentum on your side. Find a way to get the football to your star wide receiver. He's the guy that makes it happen, and if you get him the football, it can just pick this whole team up and give them a much better chance to win. A good first half of action here, and soon we'll be set on EA Sports. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates, and now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. Breaks at the tackle, and at the 30. What you do, it's halftime is over. You come out here, you're not sure what the new game plan is going to be, but feel your way into the game. Don't take a chance early and turn the football over. And with no options... To the ground, trying to plow ahead. The Rams have it at the 39. Mason's out there to receive the screen pass. That's been the story of this game. 60% on the day. Toss to the outside. Gains 12. Two tight ends on the field here. Flip to the outside. Wires gonna make the tackle. Curley's the one who is down. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. He was looking for Austin, but this. The Rams take it from the 38. Got the completion. They bring him to the turf. First down and 10. To Cook. Cook's tackled down. It's in the red zone, and you know, you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about I, I just spoke with a Rams official. Right now, all they will say is it's an upper body injury and that he will not be returning. That's you. Second and goal from the five. They're gonna run it on the toss. Fires there to take him. Third and goal at the four. What a catch. Touchdown. Have a nice buffer to work with over this last quarter and a half. They do, but this game is not over. Now you got to come out there, take a chance, and get back in this game. It's not over. And the tackle is made right around. Well, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here. He's in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Dropping back now into the shotgun. It's Laurinaitis with the sack. Third down. Snap it out of the gun. A pass falls incomplete. Yeah, going all the way. Austin's got it on the return.
First down at the 41. Foles, handoff. Gurley's tackle down. Gurley's handed the football. That's a gain of six. He's average. Offense. The Rams take it from the 33. Gurley's tackled. The Rams snap it at the 31. Takes it from the eye. First and ten. Jared Cook has the catch. Third. Look at the play clock. Take it down as low as you can and keep picking up those first downs. Foles. Second and goal from the eight. Gives it to him again. He's now over. The dirty work in this offense is doing it right now. Third and goal to go from the two. Should have had it, but the hit. Third downs. It doesn't matter how you do it. Third short, they go with the pass. Not executed. They've seized control of this game with that field goal. I think they have. And you know what you do? You kick that field goal, you're looking up at the clock, and you're deciding how many times the, can the opponent have the football moral victory. So the game is not over. Try to get some good here late to make you feel better and get ready for the next game. The Jets from the 27. Handoff. They'll mark him at the goal. But if you want to win today's game, that's exactly what you're going to have to do. Throw the football. James Laurinaita. This should be the last play of the quarter. First and ten. Long with the sack. Defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Encroachment defense. The final quarter begins with this snap. Gets his feet down right near the chalk. In the backfield here. The Jets from the 22. Donald takes down the quarterback. Yeah. Austin's got it now. And he's tackled at the third. Right through some of that coverage and picks up good yards. The Rams have it at the 34. Gurley's tackled down after it. Trying to beat the play clock. They'll run it off the toss. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. Fourth and they continue to keep the pedal to the metal. Oh, absolutely. The offensive coordinator, he wants to pass. Hey, sometimes you got to do that is uh, do what's good for the offensive coach. Curly's out process, so they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defense is out here and make some plays. The Jets will take the snap from the 25. That's Quinn making the stop. Solid. They have confused the offense. That's why this offense is struggling, but also the offensive line has had some spotty play. a gain of 13. Now first and 10. Looking at every option. And incomplete. The Jets will take the snap from the 40. And it's knocked down. Stands in the pocket. This is side here today, and yeah, I'm going to give the defense a lot of credit. They've been outstanding, but the offense just hasn't tested them enough with different plays to make them think. Let's see if they can do it again. Very well done. Love what I saw out there on the offense the last time. They mixed it up, and they showed a lot of confidence. You can see the speed, and he is one tough running back to tackle. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Running room. He's now averaging. I see in a football game physically, they have overwhelmed the defense and a good job by the offensive coordinator. Second down and nine. And here's the toss. Mason's tackled down in these situations. Third and six. Mason's got it on the screen. 
60% on the day. First down and 10. Mason's taking the handoff. Gets about four yards. The Rams will take the snap from the 35. And that's a gain of maybe. Defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. He'll get it again. He's tackled beyond from the start. Yeah, you got to enjoy it when it goes well in the NFL. And then winning that tight game last week, and they just continue to. Second down and five. Takes it from the strong eye. And that's a two-yard gain. Third and two. Again, they'll lean on him. So they keep the winning streak alive with a win here today. Not a surprise. This winning streak, it's happened, but it's working right. They are going to be tough to beat. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.